Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Jess. So the recent price action from Bitcoin has been absolutely brutal. After rejecting from $73,000, the price of Bitcoin fell all the way down to 69.5 to retest a critical level of support. So in today's video, we're gonna dive into the recent price action and talk about what it means, as well as the potential scenarios that we have on the short time frame, as well as the trigger levels for both a bounce, a continued correction, and a high time frame reversal. Before we get into all that though, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to get regular Bitcoin analysis every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. If you're after even more content, be sure to check out my free Telegram channel. And if you're after my VIP channel, you can get more details over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trading setups with exact entry points, targets, and stop losses. Alrighty guys, so diving into the daily time frame here, let's quickly talk about the recent price action. So following on from my last episode of Bitcoin analysis, if you guys watched that video, um, in the really big rally that we had earlier on this week, moving up to $73,000, we had approached the final level of resistance that had kind of existed within this range that we're experiencing here on the daily time frame, ranging up to obviously that that huge high here at 73,800. And if we zoom in on a 12 hour time frame, we can see it even better. The smart money index uh, com uh, concepts indicator pulls it up right for us. There's that weak high that we're looking at and this upper liquidity zone that marks Bitcoin's final level of resistance here ending at that 73,800. So as we approach that level over there, we started to develop a little bit of weakness, which we talked about on the short time frame charts. And that ultimately led to a correction over here. And Bitcoin has now dropped all the way down to 69.5 or to retest this level of support over here characterized by the prior high within our month or not monthly but I would say maybe two three month long uptrend now um, and that is a critical level of support which we'll talk about a little bit more in a second. There was a little bit of news moving into this um, recent price action with NFP data come out last night which I think was actually really negative. It was 12,000 as opposed to the forecasted 13 no, 113,000. Um, but I think there were some explanations for that to do with like the storms in America and unemployment wasn't necessarily affected. But it was overall just a little bit of a choppy period and a very emotional period of price action moving into this sort of segment over here where we were approaching 73k, right? So the price action was really, really volatile, but nevertheless, we ended up seeing that correction that we talked about in the prior video. And so now it's time to look at the short time frame and the possibility of a bounce here. So let's zoom into the short time frame charts and get stuck into our analysis. Before we get into the rest of the video, guys, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor, Bit You Next, where you can get 15% off all of your trading fees and up to 5,500 US dollars in sign up rewards when you create your free account using the link down in my description box. BUNEX is an emerging cryptocurrency exchange committed to providing you with a secure, convenient, and highly functional trading and investment platform. Available across all countries as a non-KYC exchange, get global access to over 150 trading pairs with minimal fees on both spot and futures contracts. Join today to get 5,500 US dollars in sign up rewards and get 15% off all of your trading fees by signing up using the link in my bio or by using the code 1GG3 when you create your account. So moving into the hourly chart guys, let's start off by identifying our relevant trading range. So that first of all starts off at our week high or our most recent rejection point here at 73,600. And then we have some subsequent highs over here um, that sort of map out Bitcoin's recent downward trajectory right ever since that rejection and forming these lower levels of resistance. First of all, our buy side liquidity of this next high at 73,000 and then that resistance zone here from 72.2 to 72.6 thousand. And then at the base of our sort of relevant trading range, we have our sell side liquidity here at 65.5 and that corresponding level of support here um, starting from 66.5 to $67,000. So within this sort of horizontal range that Bitcoin's been traveling in for the last two week period, we have our key level of support right here at 68.8 to 69,000. That is the exact same level guys that we are retesting right now as we retest the prior high within our, you know, high time frame uptrend over here, right? So while we hold this level of support, technically things are still really, really bullish on the short time frame. If we take a look at the moment, at the momentum, for example, um, at this level of support here, we've seen a 
breakout of that corresponding downtrend here. So the the bearish strength that we had that characterized this move downwards has exhausted. So we're seeing bearish exhaustion here at level of support. And we've also developed a short time frame uptrend here on the RSI, right? So momentum is trending upwards against support. So while we're at this level, we should be able to expect a bounce or the end of our correction at the very least, um, and an attempt to move on to retest these prior highs over here at the upper range of that resistance level. So in that move upwards, the first thing that we need to do on the short time frame is clear above this high over here at 71.2 thousand. If we go over to the 30 minute chart, we can see that sort of short time frame downtrend over here. And so that break of structure and the formation of a higher high here on the short time frame is what's going to facilitate that continued move to retest 72.6 um, and then breaking above buy side liquidity here at 72.8 thousand dollars and is when we can expect sorry not 72.8 73 thousand um, is when we can expect a continuation to retest the weak high on the short time frame at $73.6 thousand dollars. So that's how the short time frame bullish scenario sort of plays out and what exactly we need to see there. Let's talk about the potential for a further correction. So that all begins with the loss of our level of support and that subsequent liquidity zone down here at 68.4. If we close below this level over here after entering this zone over here, we go on to very likely retest these lower levels of support starting at 67.7 up point of control and then this lower level of support down here at $67,000. Of course closing below sell side liquidity is then a warning for a further bearish correction. So if we move over to the four hour time frame really quickly moving into that sell side liquidity zone we enter into this zone over here right where right below it we have a massive volume gap. So it's likely then that in falling below that next low at 65,000, we're likely to see a continued drop and quite an aggressive drop to $63,000. And that is also when we go on to retest our high time frame uptrend over here. So throughout this entire period, that correction would be short time frame bearish. And it, is, it isn't, sorry, until we drop below this uptrend that we become high time frame bearish, right? And so on the short time frame, we can sort of map out the future trajectory of price action like this. So moving back to the one hour chart, above this level of here, we are looking short time frame bullish, right? Where we can expect continuations to retest these sort of downtrending resistance levels, a break of which will result in a move to test prior highs and a weak high over here in which breaking above on a daily time frame, as well as that sort of, you know, the end of that resistance zone here that we can see on the 12 hour time frame ending at 73,800, that's going to signal a higher time frame bullish continuation to you know go on and retest um new all-time highs right so that is our high time frame bullish scenario and then falling below these levels over here we become short time frame bearish particularly sell side liquidity here at 68.4 um, and to then move on and retest these lower levels of support now one of the reasons why i think that the probabilities of a bounce here as opposed to a breakdown on the short time frame is much more likely is because of the macro context. So sure on the short time frame, you know, all we can see that is that this is a level of support, but we are also retesting our macro structure over here. So for the last eight months, Bitcoin's been traveling in that descending channel structure, and we have just broken out earlier on this week on the 8th. 28th of October, right? Was that this week? Yeah, it was this week. So we've just had that breakout. And after breakouts from structures, we generally tend to see a retest before seeing that, you know, bounce. And the bullish continuation there, the measured move is at the height of the structure here, which takes us to around 84, 83.5 thousand dollars, right? So we are expecting upon this break, a massive continuation, a massive bullish continuation. And as we retest the, list, the level of support established by the structure, in that breakout, it should be much more likely that we see a bullish continuation here as opposed to a breakdown, particularly since momentum here on the high time frame is still very much positive, right? We're still within that uptrend that has characterized the, the upward trajectory that we've experienced for the last three months. So structurally, we're at support and horizontally, we're at support. But also on top of that, across the last two to three month period, Bitcoin has done something very, very interesting where within our uptrend over here, 
we've gone on to retest, consistently gone on to retest prior highs within our uptrend every single time we see a correction. And those prior highs have perfect coincidence with the prior downtrend that we had within our macro structure as well, right? So we've gone on to retest those prior highs, deviate, correct, to retest support, retest prior highs, deviate high, go on to retest support at the prior high, once again, retest prior high, deviate slightly, retest support, and then so on and so forth. So we're seeing that exact same sort of pattern over here, right? So while we sit above 69.5, that pattern holds, and we should be seeing a bullish continuation to retest the next prior high, 75. 73.8 thousand, um, a potential retest of support here, right? Some sort of profit taking, healthy exhibit of correction, and then a bullish continuation once again. So not only are the short time frame charts looking quite good here, the high time frame charts really do support that bullish narrative there on the short time frame. It does look like we should be seeing a continuation um, or some sort of bounce, um, but naturally anything can happen in the market as you guys probably know and at least now we are prepared for every single move what exactly is going to trigger that and what exactly to be looking out for in both case scenarios Alrighty, guys that is all the analysis that i have for you today if you enjoyed the video or you learned something don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're after even more content be sure to check out my free telegram for daily updates as well as crypto and economic news and if you're interested in my vip channel you can get more details over here vip gives you exclusive access to my personal trading setups with exact entry points targets and stop losses and if you are a trader don't forget Get to sign up down below to beat you next to get 15% off all of your trading fees. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.